Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. Today's video I have my wellness planner that I wanted to kind of play with for the month of April and May. It is a Erin Condren monthly and it's in this cool folio cover. So if you guys want to check out my setup for the month of April, then keep on watching. So hey there planners, welcome. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. I am passionate about wellness um, and my health and I love planning. Um, for it's one of my favorites. So if you guys didn't check out my lineup for spring um, or if like a refresher for my stack, planner stack, I did uh, mention this, Erin Condren, uh, planner here. It is a monthly planner. Now this planner um, I got at a affiliate um, thing or event um, in March and I just love the soft cover of it and I'm someone who likes to play with different layouts because I want to try new things and see what works for me best when it comes to planning certain parts of my life and this is going to be for um, wellness and my health. Um, and I kind of mix those together with fitness because it's whatever I'm focusing on at that moment. But this is a really nice um, coiled planner. Erin Condren's known for their coiled planners and they flip really nicely. They have great paper quality and everything's made in the US. So this is a soft vegan planner, which I think they're coming out with more of in a design. I know they came out with a lot of their um, Star Wars, and um, this is Edivy's collection, which I absolutely love. It's a artist that they collabed with. I love her artwork. Um, we're gonna try to set this up for April. I, I shared a little bit of this, um, I think on my Instagram, on a live. Um, and then I may have shared it on Instagram, like in stories. I, I don't remember, but I know like if you guys check out my um, IG lives, I, I think I do have kind of a walkthrough of it, but I'll kind of share on here real quickly. Um, so this is an Erin Condren 12 month, let me look here. I think it's a 12 month planner and it has like this pocket um, in the back. It's double sided. It just has this beautiful, soft, flexible cover. I really enjoy that. Um, and I love that it has a pocket. I do have some stickers in here. This is a Erin Condren sticker book. It's a designer sticker book that they have. This is an old one. It's the edition four. So I just have it in here for some functional use. Um, I'll go ahead and take those out actually so I can plan my April, but I'm gonna share March here real quickly. So it has a monthly view and for my monthly view I'm using it for my stepping it up into spring challenge. Um, sometimes I do like these movement challenge um, in the planner community because again fitness or just wellness in general is one of my favorite things to plan. It's something that I can plan so I'm a mom of two and that's kind of been my main focus for a while and so this was kind of like something for me and so I'm using the monthly to track my walks whether they're indoors or outdoors um, and then I write down the mileage and sometimes I write the time um, I used to write pace but right now I'm not really focusing on pace so I'm just focusing on getting my 21 days of movement um, so that's what I did in March and then on the sidebar here, I put, you know, the 21 days of healthy habits. And then my focus is um, a challenge on the treadmill. I'm trying to do intensive incline walks. Um, and then I put some key words here, stay focused, stay consistent, and making sure that I'm um, nourishing my body. And then I put a little key for indoor or outdoor and then days completed. Um, and then for the monthly layout for this Erin Condren planner, it has like this note page here and I put some of the people that have shared their um, their walks or their journey into the 
stepping it into spring challenge you can use that hashtag this will end at the end of april so if you guys want to go ahead and jump in um you may not be able to get your full 21 days in but if you guys just want to jump in to get you going and that way you can continue on into the summertime you totally do that and tag me and i will just repost it um, for some uh, motivation for you there and then so yeah that's what this is this is just other planners that have um, shared so i just wanted to write them down and then you get like this dashboard i'm going to show you what it looks like with before that we're going to do today together so that's what it looks like and for here, I use some Erin Codron quotes and stickers. Up at the top here, I put spring healthy habits. So get outside, avoid stressful situations, that whether that's a family member, <laughs> a friend, um, whether that's social media, the news, just anything in general that you just need to take a break from. Um, so I put that there. Um, and then drink more water. I put add lemon, I always do that, but um, I definitely use like enhancer, energy enhancers to sometimes change it up, um, especially just for extra caffeine um, because I drink tea now instead of coffee. <laughs> tea is not the same as coffee, so I definitely sometimes need that extra boost. boost. And then quiet time with God, I'm trying to focus especially this April, uh, more devotional time. And then uh, here I put tracking goals, so things that I want to track, my incline walks, my exercise time, which is 45 minutes on my watch, um, steps, um, weight and body fat I put there, but I haven't been really focused on that because I'm actually getting to a point that has been my goal for the longest time. I'm super excited about that. But it's kind of like my last part of my list because I don't want that to stress me out. I'm actually having more fun of doing strength training and feeling stronger. So um, that's more exciting than worried about the weight right now and body fat. Um, calories, that's just more of like uh, calories that I'm taking in as far as like my food regimen and then burning throughout the day. I just try to look at that as much as I can. And then down here, you get this portion where it's like a dot grid section. And I put my favorite uh, inspiration uh, verse, um, scripture verse. And then I put a picture of myself. And I love layering pictures with stickers. And then over here is my watch goals. So we are going to move into April. And then you get like these note pages. Um, I'm going to use these for more research and just brain dumping, honestly. Um, I really am trying to get better with meal planning and then very, really incorporating that with at home um, is a challenge, but I'm still gonna work on that. Um, and then, yeah, so we're gonna work on April. And then if we have time, I would love to set this little folio up with like some stickers in here I don't really know what else you could put in here because this is my first time um, owning one of these this is also Eta V um, and I don't remember what the the I don't know whether to call it a design or art because I just I, I find her more as an artist um, well she is an artist but it's beautiful it may be called bliss now that I think about it but I put my name down here you can customize the cover when you buy these you can customize the cover um, I think you can even add a photo if you want like a photo, but um, you could also put a name down here or your initial or whatever you like, maybe an inspiration phrase or something, but these are really cool. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. And I have two fitness sticker sheets from when I owned the Petite Wellness Planners. Well, I still have them, but I pulled them out so I could use these. This is what I use for my photos. Um, I have the Erin Condren sticky notes. Just, I don't know, I just have them on my desk to decorate with. I have these cute uh, clear rainbows from Just Starkey. My friend Chrissy on Instagram. She's super talented and creative. I love her. She has a wonderful soul. 
Um, she made my contact cards for Go Wild. Um, I believe there's some, I've seen some new planner conferences going around. So if you need contact cards, definitely contact <laughs> Jess Starkey. Uh, she did mine for me, but um, they came out really great. We also did a 5K challenge in the planner community last year, which was really fun. Um, it was a challenge, but it was fun. <laughs> but I thought I could use these to decorate for April. And of course I have this sticker book. Um, I definitely need to get some ma liners out, but I also have some photos here um, just to have some motivation and what I wanna focus on. So we'll use some of these photos, what I have currently for mild liners or tombos i have this next to me and then i have this little pouch thing that i just got it's super cute it has some mild liners in it it's got a lot of mix of everything so i'll just have that there just put this back here for a second oh i had this over here so i have this carousel thingy with other markers if i need it I think I got that at a home goods. Okay. So let's see. Last month I kind of decorated the top there. And I used um Hello Kitty Friends sticker book. So do I want to use these or do I want to use like Easter stickers? So I have these two that I used. These are like monthly stickers that coordinate with the books or with the Erin Condren planners, I think. I used most of these, or this one in particular, for my petite monthly. So I don't have too many in there. I used this one because it matches with April. But I think I want to use more spring stickers. Let me um, see what some spring stickers I have. Okay, so stickers that I pulled, I think I'm going to pull from Live Love Posh. I have her new one, Hello Spring. And then Floral Blossoms is one of her very first one, I think, because it was a little bit larger. Yeah, so this is her very first sticker book, which is super fun. <laughs> um... And there's some butterflies in here I think would be pretty for April. And I love that her sticker books, you always get two sheets of each design. So I know I have some extras. So I have these butterflies here that I think would be really pretty for April. And then this one does have some um, butterflies. Like there's two there. Um, and then this page. So there's a couple here that I could use, which is plenty, with some florals. I really love this color palette. It's just so pretty. But it also gives me like real summer vibes, but oh, you know what? It kind of matches the rainbows. So that's more for decorative purposes. And then I have the Happy Planner Spring because this one has some cute bunnies. I know they're in here. Oh, here we go. So I'll just tab this for those cute bunnies. First thing I need to do is um, two um, colors for indoor and outdoor and then days completed. And I'm actually going to backtrack on my um, phone. So I use an Apple Watch and it tracks everything when, you know, if I'm wearing it. So on my phone... So on my phone here, if I go to this button up at the top, it shows my history. So that makes it super helpful for whatever there's like a completed day. It'll have like a really, it'll have a green dot next to it. So I can go in here and do that. It makes it super easy to track things. So again, I don't really touch all my planners every single day. Like this one is really great because I have a system in play that helps track it. And so I don't have to feel overwhelmed with tracking something like this every single day um, where I can just come to it like once or twice a week. Um, so I would recommend if you are into like tracking something, make sure you have something that has history backup. 
so you can look back at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, prep this of the days where I'm at with my 21 days since I started the spring challenge March 20th. And so I need to go in here and write all that down. I've added in um, the days that I've walked and completed. So officially I'm on day 14 and this challenge stepping into spring was a 21 day healthy habit. And you could definitely take um, some days to heal and recover if you needed, but it was supposed to be from March 20th to the end of April to get in that 20 day of um, consistent movement. So uh, I officially have seven days left. I'm definitely thinking that um, I can finish this up the week after Easter. Um, so I also put in the time and the mileage and whether I walked or run. And then for the sidebar, I put keep pushing and striving. Um, 21 days healthy habits. I have seven days left. And then my goal is to have a certain incline walk, which we'll talk here in a minute. So I'm hoping that um, since I got back from my spring break, I did go and walk outside. But um, tonight I think I'm going to try to um, see where I'm at on the incline, which is going to be <laughs> not so good because I went skating and I haven't been roller skating in a long time and I'm, I'm a little bit older. Um, so I just have muscles that are kind of sore. So we'll see. I probably will not do it too much tonight, but I'm going to try to shoot for going to the gym on the incline because I had this bet with my husband about doing this certain incline cardio walk, which is a very great um, like fat burning type of cardio where it's like an incline walk and um, your speed, well, my speed is the highest is three, <laughs> okay? But your incline is really steep. So um, you'll have to like gradually, you know, test that on your, you know, what you can do. Um, but you, for me, we don't hold on to the treadmill. So definitely don't do anything that you can't manage. Um, if you need to hold on to it, definitely do that. But, you know, adjust your speed and incline. You know, if you have to hold on, that means you're going too fast and your incline is too high for yourself. So, um, anywho, but I have this bet with him that I was going to do like an incline at a speed that I could do um, like at a 10. So I put here in my in goals, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I put that in here. So... Yeah, so I can look back at this and it just keeps me motivated and pushing to do more things when I keep track of this and where I'm at. And like, also I love the fact that I um, incorporated running, which my, my focus was definitely the incline walk, but I love the fact that I was able to get out and do some run. I can't resist running, I just can't. I just, I just love it. It's very therapeutic, even if I'm not competitive at it, like I'm not like the fastest or anything like that but um, I just, it feels great. So I like that I've been able to get out and do some running, even if it's not like what it used to be. Um, okay, so that's what I put here. We're gonna decorate the top. And then I did write in over here, I decided to do spring healthy habits again, and I put prayers and devotional. Um, of course, I'll have verses of the day as well, but I can add that there, but mainly prayers and devotional. Hydrate, um, and then reading. I really want to read 15 to 30 minutes, whether that's this book that I've been trying to read um, on and off in January and February. I still have not completed this. I just have not made time to do that. I really wanna do that. It's The Daniel Plan, 40 Days to a Healthier Life, Healthier Life by Rick Warren, and it's about faith and food and fitness, and focus and friends. I just really want to dive into this more. I also wanna take time to read this um, journal um, slash planner. This is by JMB Living. I've reviewed this on my, my, my channel. <laughs> I was gonna say YouTube. My channel, of course it's YouTube. Um, it has some reading entries in here, and I kinda just wanna read this and you know spend some time with this so 
those are kind of like my reading portions that I want to spend time with and I'll definitely have more time in the summer and then stay outdoors like you know keep making time to get outdoors and walk I feel like I'm spending more time trying to push out more content um, than I used to be outside all the time so I'm just trying to make sure I'm taking my breaks and getting some fresh air or when we have great weather to go outside um, here, instead of putting what I'm tracking, I decided to put goals completed since we're getting to the end of this wellness challenge. I want to make sure, I put a little checkbox, that I completed my 45 minute incline walk at a 10 incline. Now, it was, we were talking about 11, but I don't know if I could do 11. For 45 minutes straight, um, at a 2.8 to a 3 speed walk. I've gotten to a 10 and I've adjusted my speed. So we'll see. Um, again, I have to like get back on it this week so I can see where I'm at. And I have plenty of time because I have until the end of April if, you know, even if I got 21 days of movement, I still wanna be able to complete this goal. Um, it's just a little self challenge. Um, and then, you know, completing my 21 days of healthy movement, um, completing the stepping into spring challenge. So um, now we can start decorating, adding photos. This, uh, I may carry over the participants in this challenge. Again, if you want to participate, um, you're more than welcome to, and just tag me, but I may swing that over. Um, maybe I could jot some notes down, but, um, I'm also hoping to write down some healthy recipes in here and things like that. Um, okay, so let's go back to the monthly view and kind of decorate this top portion really. So I think I'm just gonna use these butterflies from this sticker book. So even I think a healthy habit could be a steady routine for yourself. So maybe you're someone who wants to get in the habit of actually i'm going to put some stickers here since april doesn't start until friday um of having a better routine you know a like mentally um and then maybe it's just something mentally that you want to focus on having a better routine you know maybe you're just having this moment where you're just you feel stuck and you want to build a better routine for yourself to, to um, get some type of momentum back in your life. Um, I feel like that could be a healthier habit. These butterflies are so pretty. And you can jot some of those things down. And it is definitely baby steps. I totally... Um, I, you know, if you're struggling with that, I totally um, understand, and you're not alone. Okay, are that all, those are all my little butterflies. Look through this one. I know this one had butterflies. Maybe if you have a garden, I just got this because of this sticker. Or this this thought if you have a garden and you let it go the past couple of years and you're like this year I'm gonna do some gardening for spring and get back into that and that could be your outdoors time you're right in here stepping into spring though too Some little bunnies. Put it right here and then let's see what's in here. Is there any motivational? You've got this. Put that right there. Forward. That's the hashtag. I'm not gonna have space. 
place. Let me move this over real quick. So that's really cute. And then here, we're gonna add some quotes in this box. And let me highlight. Yeah, I use the Sarasa pen and it does not, which is so funny because it's the same company, does not mix well with the mod liners. It smears. But I use it anyways. Okay, so we'll add our pictures down here. And... know if I'll use these two maybe just that one because I really like that photo we want to add these flowers because it matches I have this pretty big border sticker can put that there and then I would put this down here that actually all fits okay cool just need to cut it should add in the middle. Maybe we should add that in the middle. I wonder if I should um, a round corner punch. Okay. Let me find my adhesive. I'll glue this to the back. Put it at an angle like that because that's kind of cool. And I have these, because I think they would match too. These are sticky notes from Erin Condren. I can add a fun little burst there for strength. I always lean on God for strength. So I can put a little reminder um, Any time that you lean on him, he will be there for you type of verse. So that will be where my verse goes. And we can put some quotes here with some rainbow. Okay, I picked a verse. Um, it's actually John 14, 14. I didn't write it down, but that's an idea for another time to write down a full verse. Um, you could probably also do some paper crafting and um, type of verse on your computer and then print it on vellum paper, I think would be pretty overlaid on a photo. Um, so I just put the verse and um, put lean on God for strength. And then here I put activity goals, which is my watch goals. So I kind of bumped up my move for 540 cows and exercise is still 45 minutes and then steps is 10,000 a day. Um, right now I'm not really focused on steps. Again, I'm focusing on my 45 minutes of exercise, um, strength training, and then that incline walk goal. Um, so now I can add some stickers and quotes. And you know what I just realized as I was sitting here? I, I did a swatch video on my mod liners and I just figured out where the names of the colors are. And it's on the very back on this fine print here. It gives you the name of the markers. I just thought I would point that out. Um, because one of my markers here, I was using the yellow. It's completely rubbed off because I've used mod liners for a long time, but I got a new set from a planner conference that I went to. So I had another one. I was like, oh, okay, so this one's gold. So if you're curious, I mean, I'm gonna have to redo my swatch so I can get all these colors down before the, you know, label comes off. But um, I'm using gold, violet, and this one is 
dark blue. Then I'm going to use this. This one's just called blue, which looks like a baby blue or sky blue to me, to highlight my activity goals. On my watch, exercise is green. And then, oh, I don't use that one. I use Tombow for that. Um, movement is like, it's like a pink or red color. And I do have stand, but I typically hit that, and so I don't really find that as a uh, a challenge. Um, I just put steps here. So let me see if I have an extra watch on this sticker. I wonder if Erin Condren used to have a sticker booklet or design book is what they call it for um, their wellness stickers or fitness stickers, whatever they call them. Because that would be amazing. They did instead of these sheets because I would love more of these because they're super functional. Uh, let me use this arrow here for highlight that. Um, let's add some rainbows. I gotta figure out if I have any other extra quotes. Could add these stars to the photo because they're clear. Oh, that's so cute. Bro. Maybe I should just add it over here and just add the stars. I kind of want to use a quote on there. I'm just trying to think. All I have is these for now. I'm, well, I'm actually going to take whatever's out of my old wellness planner that I was using and put in here. You've got this, keep moving forward, be strong. Maybe be strong for now. Let me add some of these stars. And that's pretty much it with setting this up. I just, um, this is how I'm using this. I'm just kind of reflecting um, on what I am focusing on. Let me grab my other planner here that I think has a lot of my stickers in there. Okay, I also have this Erin Condren book. I forgot I used some of these quotes in my other um, March spread. So I'm going to use, um, where is it? This one, it says shine. there and I was thinking about using some of this washi to layer. I'm going to use this blue here. I think I did that last time too on my other page. So that looks really pretty. And then this yellow up here and just tear it right there. Just add this back to the book. And as far as another quote, let's see what other quote was in here. You are magic. Looks cute. And then I saw these hearts in here. I'm just curious what this will look like. I like the little texture on them. I like that they're translucent. That's kind of a fun sticker. Okay, maybe I'll just use this one. Just... Okay, super cute. Alright, so then that's done, and I'm gonna put these stickers in here somehow. Alright, I want to go through this. Oh, actually, I forgot. I pulled this too. So this was my little contact card, actually. 
um, from Just Starkey. I had two, so because um, she added my photo. These are the ones that I passed out at uh, Go Wild, and I had different photos, so I gave a bunch of these out. I saved one for um, memory keeping, and then I have a whole stack of these. So I'm actually going to put this little heart. I should use this heart. And then I'm going to put that somewhere else later. And I'm going to use the shoes and the water bottle. Um, I believe she hand drew these icons. So again, if you're interested, you know what, I'll just put her link down below to her Instagram so you guys can um, follow her there. Okay, so this one, um, I have a little pocket here with a lot of my fitness stickers. And I don't think I have, do I have stuff in the back? These stickers came with this planner. I mean, this planner is so cute. I love all the recipes and the challenges in between. Um, maybe I can take some of that out so I can use some of the recipes, but I do love the images. I love this prep, monthly prep. It's kind of what we're doing here, but it was just so many pages in between. It was just, I don't like the, the way that they built this planner, but I do love the crap, the graphics and all the, um, there's like a lot of wellness education stuff in there. We'll take these stickers out. Wow, I've got a bunch of these stickers. So these are all my fitness related from Etsy shop. It's Sweet Quiet Designs from Nicole. Um, I use her a lot. Lexington Flair, which I ordered a big order from her. So that'll be coming up soon. I have everything set for what I want to track, um, except for what I just thought about. I haven't been tracking my menstrual menstrual cycle. Oh my gosh, it's so late in the day, guys. I apologize. Um, and I need to find somewhere to track that. So you could also use this portion maybe to track that, or definitely your monthly, of course. So maybe I can just use a mod liner and just put a little red dot, and then put a key over here. So I may end up doing that actually um because i need to track that but that's it for us prepping for april um I'm, I'm tracking my movement and my um goal of incline walks and then we set some goals here spring healthy habits um goals completed for me that's what i'm focusing on um and then activity goals because this doesn't have like a rec a reflection page this is just a monthly planner that I'm using for this type of content or uh, wellness planning so um, I could make my own reflection page with these extra note pages but oh I love the way that that turned out it's so pretty okay so we're gonna set this in here and we're gonna put the stickers in here oh perfect I'm gonna add these stickers and actually I'm gonna add my sticky notes well I kind of been using them but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here and you know what I really love about this particular punch uh, for the coil this one works so much better I feel like it's so much easier to snap in look at that so much easier I have a hard time okay so I have a hard time Maybe it's just me. If you have a tip, let me know. But um, with the bookmarks here, I don't know. I just feel like I have a hard time with that than this one. I wish the bookmarks were this punch. This is just so much easier. I mean, I don't have to really mess around with it. Yeah, it just snaps in so much better. So I can put that in there. We'll add this. And, oh, I forgot to put this in there. <laughs> put these to the back. Anything else? I think that's it. And these are 
are the two colors that I'm using. Is this two or one? That's two. If I could just know if that fits in there. Maybe I can just hook it on like that. I don't have anything for here, but you could print photos and put them in here, the two by threes, um, to have for your next month or something. We can see if washi fits in here. I mean, these are just ideas. You definitely don't have to do this, but if you put in washi, this is a 5mm. I think that would be too thick. This is a 10, a 15 definitely won't work. But if you have a two or five mm, you, that actually fits and it fits flat. Um, you could put more sticky notes actually or paper clips. Um, again, extra photos fit perfectly in there for you to maybe do some memory keeping if that's what you want to use this type of planner for. But I think any of their seven by nine planners fit in here. This is their A5, but I was gonna say, I think they have like a eight by 10. I mean, that does fit in there. So you could carry your A5s in here if you wanted to, but you don't get the same like proportion, I guess, the way this is built for a seven by nine. I guess a feel for it, I guess. If, does that make sense? So super cool. So you could take this with you. I seriously think that I would honestly use this for church too. Like I would want one separately for church, and especially for Bible study or book club. Like how amazing would this be? Because it's so flexible. And I just put a Happy Planner sticker book in there so you could take that with you on the go. But <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up this um, wellness video and I hope you guys enjoyed um, setting up for April. I will take some time um, to share with you guys this one that I just reviewed on and I'm sorry that um, I got a comment about it being too far away from the camera, but it's, pretty much a um, simple, you know, daily, undated daily wellness planner. So um, that's kind of what it looks like. You have tracking, self-care, movement, food log, and then today's focus. But um, I will try, you have weekly reflections, monthly ref reflections, so um, I will try to um, take some time to go over this with you guys in another video, but I hope you enjoyed this one and how I'm using the monthly Erin Condren planner as my wellness planner for April and March. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, taking the time out of your day to visit with me and um, talk about wellness goals and I will see you on my next video. Um, take care, stay safe and happy planning. Bye.